Basically, uh, there are two main things that have been said in the comments. And those main things are, I've seen no scriptural reference that we have to believe that Yeshua or Jesus is yod heh vav I, for salvation. I have a question for you on that. Okay. Can I interrupt? Of course. Or, do you, or am I interrupting midstream here? Nope. Keep I, going. Okay. Well, I'll just read you a verse, Caleb, and you, yep. you tell me what you think. So in 1 Peter 3... It says, even if you should suffer for the sake of righteousness, you are blessed. And it, then it says, do not fear their intimidation and do not be troubled. And here he's actually citing Isaiah, Isaiah, uh, the prophet. And he says, but sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you with gentleness and reverence. And keep, and this is verse 16, and keep a good conscience so that in the thing in which you are slandered, those who revile your good behavior in Christ will be put to shame. Sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts is Peter's reiterating, he's he's citing the prophet Isaiah where, where it has yod heh in your hearts. Right, right. So if I say I'm a believer in Jesus, and I believe the Bible, and I believe Peter is one of the apostles and that I believe this is inspired by the Holy spirit. Right. And how, how, how do I sanctify another person who's not God in my heart? As you have And actually, yeah, how do I fulfill of... this? How do I fulfill this in my life? If, 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 if Jesus is just a man, Okay, so so two things on this. First of all, um, this is actually one of the comments that was made was that you know I I quoted several verses to uh, several people in the chat in the in the chat on this video, and the response was "Kurios can just mean Lord or Master." Now I have a response to that as well. However, in in the passage that you just cited, he is quoting from Isaiah, and so we know that that the word "Kurios" here does not just mean Lord or Master. It means yod heh because that's what it says in the It means the, the Messiah is yod heh in the flesh. Yeah, exactly. So, so, okay, let's just say, oh, okay, curious can mean man, which is true. It can be referred to just a man. How am I, How is it biblical in alignment with the Torah to sanctify as holy another human in my heart? Right. And so, it's th- in your hearts. This is plural. This, this is Peter writing to the ecclesia. They're all to do this. So that means in the body of Messiah, then you have two groups of people. You have the people that believe that this is that there's no difference in terms of uh, of their worship because they see God as triune. So there's no conflict here. And then there's the people that are like, well, they have to add this footnote. Well, he's not God, though. Well, OK, so what are you doing sanctifying another person in your heart? That's that's weird. That's a right. weird claim, in my well, view. Okay, so so we're gonna we're gonna expand on that view in just a second. Before we do, I want to get to uh, Lois's comment in the chat room. She says, "Are you defining not believing in the Trinity as the same thing as denial, which might actually be a result of lack of information or bad teaching?" Now, I agree with this. Those who know my walk uh, and my coming to Christ know that one of the first things that I did was uh, strongly test the uh, the doctrine of the Trinity. My father and I went round and round for you know several years on this, and I skirted, I danced a little bit with the idea of binitarianism, and uh, I I never denied. And Caleb is a darn good dancer, by the way. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, but in the end, I had to admit that there was there was more there. So so and that the Trinity was a, a true doctrine according to the Bible. With that said. I'm not saying that a person who, you know, there are people who are solid believers, probably, uh, you know, closer to the Lord than I am, who uh, who live in huts in Africa, who have no theological training, who truly trust in the Lord and have 
no understanding of the theological implications of what the Bible says. They simply believe in God. Does that mean that they're not saved because they don't know the word Trinity or because they haven't hashed out this theology? Of course, the answer is no. But when we look at the comments in our on this video, people are saying that, and this is one that always gets me. Uh, you know, somebody said, "Oh, it's it's the Roman Catholic Church." You know, it's a, a doctrine of the Trinity, which is a doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church. First of all, the the Trinity, uh, the Roman Catholic Church was not around when the Trinity doctrine uh, was formed as how they, in terms of them being able to speak about it in the way that they were speaking about it. Uh, so, and somebody cited the Council of Nicaea. The Council of Nicaea was before the, the Roman Catholic Church came into existence, in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.